So you've just started getting your feet wet in all things social media. You've set up company pages on various platforms and you're all fired up to get started. And then the question, so what am I even posting comes up. It's not just about posting, it's about why you're posting in the first place. So stay tuned and we'll share with you our two cents on social media strategy. If your goal is to keep fit and healthy, putting down a detailed plan on how you intend to achieve a healthier lifestyle will help you keep track of your workout sessions and figure out whether the daily nyamachoma indulgence is actually setting you back from achieving your fitness goals. In the same way, optimizing your social media presence requires a well thought out blueprint in order to increase the chances of achieving your objectives as a brand. You're probably familiar with the SMART acronym that's popular in self-help and entrepreneurial material. In this episode, we're going to use the same concept in figuring out a social media strategy. S is for specific. Growing your social media audience is a great goal, but it's pretty vague. How many followers do you want to gain? A thousand or a hundred? What social media platforms are you looking to use? Clarity makes it so much easier to figure out what exactly you're forging towards. Measurable. The ability or inability to measure a goal determines how specific it is and if it's actually contributing towards achieving the firm's objectives. Maybe you want to use social media to monitor brand awareness. How will you know the number of people who are actually familiar with your brand? Is it through the reach that you get per post? Or is it through the number of profile views that your company pages get monthly? The value of numbers cannot be overstated as they help you determine how far or how close you actually are to achieving your aim. A is for attainable. You definitely want to make sure you steer clear of being over ambitious when putting down your social media strategy. Looking to jump from an engagement rate of 1% to 8% in a couple of months is totally unrealistic and you'll have your team scrambling to hit this poorly chosen target. While a go big or go home perspective does get the team fired up, at the end of the day a realistic approach may be gradual but it's much more fruitful in the long run. Relevant. Just like investing in a credit card terminal may not be suitable for your two bob per page photocopy business, putting lots of effort into content that will be irrelevant to your objective is a waste of time and resources. Looking to drive traffic to your website? Then adding a link to your captions is much more effective compared to just uploading a glossy image for your post. And finally, T is for timely. We've all experienced procrastination when we have a task to accomplish. Basically, the feeling that we have an entire lifetime to get things done, when in reality, we don't. Putting down due dates on various tasks is essential in giving you and your team that extra push in making sure that you stay on top of things. And with that, you can now warm your cup of coffee Take out your notebook and begin goal setting.